formation broke up, the rotating stopped. Two flew east pretty slowly, pulsating, then disappeared, and the other one went west, stopped, hovered for a bit, pulsated, and then vanished. And the entire event lasted about 10 minutes. Um, no photos or film. An English bloke called Steve Meads, right? Uh, he started a carving of the Eye of Horus or, or Ra, if you want. I'm not sure which one it is. Just a big, like, uh, Egyptian eye, you know. So he's not sure it's the Eye of Horus. Anyway, um, he's, there's one on Mars. <laughs> Check it, innit? And it's on Blog Talk Radio. 23rd of October, two UFOs appeared uh, during a live broadcast of the partial solar eclipse. It's on astronomylive.com. Um, 28th of October, huge UFO seen near the sun. Okay. A massive craft was photographed by the Hubble telescope in 1994, uh, February the 8th, to be exact. And NASA refused to re release the photo. Somebody like, snaffled it and then got it published in the weekly World News and the space agency, NASA, said, uh, you know, it's not to do with us. And NASA also sent photos to uh, the Vatican. Why? 26th of, 26th of October, Los Angeles, a cigar-shaped UFO. And I put really good, so it must have been really good. Or oh, Max UFO News... Um, He's just out again this month. That's really good, that. That's Stuart McLaren who does that. Antonio Yuri's on the 6th of July in the city of Milan uh, recorded an intelligent flying object. Um, oh, for Mexico City. Something. Oh, there's summer four in oh, 04 in Mexico City. It changes shape really high. It moves slowly. Oh, it's Jamie Mousen that's doing it. It was the, uh, you know, the presenter. Brilliant. I love Jamie. Right, October the 20th this year. Ah, this, right, this is the um, brilliant news that you have to stay tuned for, right? I listened to uh, an interview, and it's called um, Interview with Cobra by Rob Potter. And he was saying the Federal Reserve uh, will be disbanded. Ebola is a false flag. It's almost impossible to catch Ebola. Stage actors are used. Um, you're saying oil communicates with itself. It talks about the event and uh, shifts since the equinox. It's talking about the, this group called the Shemira, something like Shemira group, but they're badens, right? Um, and there's some French word I. I uh, a membrane filter blocks plasma plane. So he says, was that much? And it at least will try to uh, vaccinate. Yeah, it won't happen. Bill Gates will be arrested. It's something called a Moon Dust Project. Chimera Group again. Lots of people with implants. 25,000 years souls have been here, apart from a few. Mm, genetic manipulations. We've been. Since '96, oh, the Dragon Societies have been an, has been an improvement in the Dragon Societies. If you know what I'm talking about, it's Asia, it's China, and all that um, global process. Solar flares are raising vibrations, uh, and Israel is a vortex. Atlantis, Cobra. The bad guys are still in control of the military. Well, we know that, don't we? It talks about scalar waves, past life memories will be remembered after the event. Membrane, crack in the matrix. David Icke, yes to many things. Ben Fulford, something's happened. A harp, you say. Over a thousand cabal arrested. He's talking about light forces. Um, there's loads of questions being asked. Big four. James Gilland, who's uh, cities coming down. Mm. Create a light city. Archons, oh, they're bad, right? contact with past loved ones with technology that we'll, we'll have after the event missing children, yes, after the event teleport, yes, but it'll be a while after first contacts Andrew Bashago um, teleportation is old to them gold yes, but the wrong time frame don't understand that New Zealand, the vote was rigged uh, cabal in New Zealand 
Maori than missed it. Oh, I missed the rest of that that he was going about. Dealing with... Oh, yeah, you'll be, we'll all be dealing with this cartoon media till the event. Higher self, astral projection. The area to be liberated. Well, then you're saying, Earth, it's not a school. Because we keep, we always get told, oh, it's a school. You come here to learn and it's a school. He was saying, Cobra, no, it's not. Earth isn't a school. Um, hybrid not working well for them. Greece, Palladian, Syrians, like Chambers. Uh, Archon, Archon attacks is more lately. Gold. China missed it. I want to miss the rest of that. We've gone about China and the gold. Contact with space family slowly and gradually first. Then it will be amazing. Uh, Promisereveal.com. Wow. Well, anyway, I watched that and I listen. Well, I listened to it, and then I found. Um, I spoke to Cobra, and I asked him to come on my show, and he said uh, yeah. Um, but but I have to do it because my boss won't let me ring America because hey, come on, you know. Um, I've got to record it and, and what have you. So we'll be doing it on Skype and what have you. Just got to arrange a, a time because I've, I've not, I'm not Skyped up at home. Plus, I've not got the recording facility anyway. So I'll have to come here and do it. Luckily, I don't live that far. So whenever you're ready, Cobra, I, I, I'm on it. Yeah, it'll take me a minute to get you. Dorset, second of November. So I want to. Well, it'd be brilliant to talk about that guy and he's talking about all that. Because I want to know about this event. He keeps going on about the event, event, event. And I'm like, what event? All right. So anyway, back to UFOs now. Dorset, 2nd of November. Um, a couple were walking on the beach and they took some photos. And then when they've uploaded them, they could see a group of lights. Um, 28th of October. Brittany, France, between the 28th and the 30th of October. There's been some mass sightings, a lot of filming on a, of a large craft in the forest. Um, daytime. And that's on blackvault.com. Huge structures being photographed on Mars, north of Maidenhead, Berkshire, 25th of October, 940. Rob Barber was driving along the airmail. Uh, he was driving on the A404 and he noticed two dull lights moving across the sky. And he followed him, and sometimes the lights were meeting above him. Uh, and they went on for a couple of miles and then they disappeared. Ashford, Kent, 4th of October. Uh, 12.25, Nigel sat in the garden, noticed uh, an easy jet fly over. Uh, however, a big, bright, silver metallic object was above the plane and it started appearing every 15 seconds. Um, it looked black before regaining the silver tube-like appearance it was at the beginning. Uh, very high, too high to film. Uh, Nigel says it was stunning. Leicester. Um, damn, them st storage hunters. Are, I'm watching that storage hunters and it's completely brilliant because I started watching the US one and now I'm watching the UK one. And just the other day, he, he's trying to say Leicester. And of course, uh, he couldn't say it. He kept getting all mixed up. And uh, it, it was funny. Leicester. He, I forget how he's saying it now, but. It was just so fun. Anyway, in Leicester, 25th of October, 8.15. Andrew in his back garden saw a flash of light, stayed constant for a few seconds, and then flashed a couple more times and then vanished. Gloucester, 27th of October, 11.30 to 1.30 a.m. Wild boar, that's the guy that's saying, you know. Uh, without this dog, saw three lights in triangle formation. Uh, looked like they were marking the area. Moved slowly, streamlined. Uh, disappeared and reappeared and he said did anyone else see it <gasps> YouTube another one by UFO Lou super strange intense flash near three satellites that was good another YouTube UFO photobombs the ISS that was funny photobombs the ISS NASA cuts live feed and they did just that they, yeah, again UFO turned up at the ISS and again they, they cut the feed uh, this was completely brilliant this next one um youtube spaceship film firing firing thrusters in front of moon that's what it's called right and you can see three engines fire up and it is by crow 777 
and it was on the 2nd of November that it, it happened that he filmed it at 4.55 p.m. That was really good, that. Really good. And another YouTube. It was on the 5th of November. So, like, yesterday, yeah? UFO skips wildly over clouds above Las Vegas. And, um, the video. And the last little bit. Nick Tesla was the first man to uh, detect a signal from outer space in 1899 after building a high-voltage radio device in Colorado Springs. Um, and I just wondered whether it was the uh, that Black Knight. Because I don't know. But I'm going to do what I always do this time of day. Just for Mike Sexton and Jason. Here we go. With alien sex. Hello, baby. Take me to your leader. So, crop circles now. Right, so last week I wondered, I was on an island whether there was two that went down in Brazil, and there was. There was two crop circles in Brazil, and one got chewed up by the farmer straight away. Uh, but there was a couple of pictures taken of it, thankfully. Uh, the other one was not that far away from it, but it was in a more sort of weird, obscure place. Um, and it was on the 26th of October. And it was... My mate Red Collie, he said he, he was they're talking about the partial solar eclipse that um, that has happened, that has been and gone. Uh, modern science has become um, as repressed as a church, just like the church was evil to Galileo when, when he when he dared to say that you know we're on a round ball going round the sun. And, uh, like mainstream scientists, um, you know, they won't dare say UFOs are crop circles mean anything it's uh, it was oh copernicus in 1543 that first published the book um that claimed that we go around the sun and not that we flatten the center of the universe and all that gutenberg 
Dog files. It's really, really, really good read that. 